<laughs> Which one? Thanks to the prime revolver. I doubt it's any good. Uh, here, I'll give it a try. With a series of unsuccessful dishes, it's up to Slim to turn things around. Going into this challenge, Play the reset. I, beep, beep. Oh my god, I need to win. I gave up graduating at Loyola University, New Orleans. Before coming out here, I only had two Loyola kind of- so Loyola There's so much Loyola. mistake for me. That college kind of sucks. Dish with I had a buddy that went there. And, fresh fruit, and this is a passion fruit ginger sauce. Ooh. Oh, oh. It's quicksand. When you put them on a stick, you've got to at least cut the fat off. You didn't even try the sauce. There's a lot of ginger in this. Thanks to the resub, Ralph, Daniel, Radiant, and Axe. And you cook that dish for me, I'd go to the bathroom, and you'd never see me again. I'd bolt out the door. Oh, I thought he was going to throw it in her face. Toothpicks and all. You guys have to, at this point in the competition, you need to be listening to what we're telling you about what we're producing, because this is ridiculous. And then he smashes it over her head, Looney Tunes style. Like a fucking cartoon. What do you have for us? I have a filet crusted with peppercorn, uh, creamy rosemary, garlic... That looks good. With a Bernays sauce. What's wrong with this one? Bernays sauce on your steak? Did he use rat poison as a special ingredient? Not many French people I know, but does the consistency look nice? You like the thickness of it? I would have liked them a little thicker. Thicker than that? What's in here? Shallots, rosemary, and garlic. And urine. Are you too much urine? Here is five dollars for making good content. I added a little bit of starch because it was raw. Liquidy. Oh, sweet. Thank raw you, beat up. Yes. Thanks for the prime vest. That is a severe technical error to serve raw flour. There are several things that you can never do in cooking. And adding flour to a liquid mashed potato is one of them. I was praying that someone else's yeah. was worse than mine, but adding flour will have a really good chance of going on. You should honestly be in jail. Adding flour to mashed potatoes? Have you lost your fucking mind, you psychopath? Gordon Ramsay, lock him up. Dish definitely stood out. Thanks to the resub, Lullandy. Unfortunately, for all the wrong reasons. Yo, I'm getting married in the Tampa area on February 1st. This is your formal invite. This is not even about cooking. Thanks. Appreciate it. We'll see. Complete disaster. This lamb is raw. It's completely raw. Slap her in the face with it. Back and forth. You can't. You take this thing and you cut it in half. It would be dangerous. God, this guy really wanted to be an actor, but ended up being a chef. So now raw. he does both. Raw. Do you see this? Badly. What, do, what, are you thinking, what are you thinking about trying to serve us raw food? We're here to judge this thing. We're watching you cook. We're not idiots. You know, if it were for me, this is not an elimination round. I'm I would just say now, now getting into the adrenaline-inducing souls-like game. I know you've Don't answered before, but time. what are your top three souls-like games? Bloodborne, Dark Souls 1, is to serve and Neo. Unsanitary food. I didn't trust my instinct. Thanks for the tier one. Tried to play a bigger than I really reel. wanted to. I should have stuck with just the chops. Appreciate the tier like one. Like a fool. And it sucks. Can I present my dish? I'm, I'm really proud. Max, it better not be raw. If it's raw, he's gonna fuck you in the ass raw. To find it genius. What in the hell is that? <laughs> I think it looks cute. It's about 15 crepes. 15 crepes. Stacked really? Through. 15 crepes in there? Vacuum sealed? How is it that small? Okay, in between the. 15 crepes, what is it? Uh, it's a mixture of cream cheese, mascarpone, some espresso, a little cream, some sugar. A torte du crepes. Looks pretty good. You know, for 15 I crepes. Don't want to be annoying, but my name is pronounced Bidop, not Bidop. Huh? Damn. Oh, damn, I'm sorry, Bidop. You have to do this with me. You have to taste that. My I pleasure. The doctors for skin graft on my butt. Yeah. And stuck it in caramel. Yeah. That is a it horrible, is a weird <laughs> texture. On paper, it sounds pretty good. 15 crepes in a small That's surface crazy. area? That's kind of cool. <laughs> <laughs> that good, huh? Wow. You know, the fact that it's an elimination test, it's serious. 
Max, they're making fun of you. I don't get a lot of coffee flavor at all. I don't get much of anything aside from the weird texture. I would be worried, actually, with what you made here. That sounds like a threat. What, does he have to worry about the safety of his family now? You're gonna send the Master Chef hitman after him for those bad crepes? Thanks for the tier one cog and the prime lobsters. Max. Christian. Oh. It wasn't cohesive. It wasn't. Thanks for the Prime HD through. for free and, and the, the resub dampest. Sort of the dish was strange. We didn't expect it from you. It was really something subpar. We were very disappointed. I think you're on. Oh. Oh my god. Think what you want. Christian Stan is compilation a shot. Betting my wedding ring you'll enjoy. 45 minutes is a lot. Christian. Well, you want to arm wrestle about it, buddy? Right now, his arrogance, it's stinking up this kitchen. He has no filter. He don't argue with Gordon Ramsay. <laughs> Why? Well, we're trying to give you constructive criticism. If you're a man. Oh, uh, yes, constructive criticism such as we think it sucks. How constructive. <laughs> yeah. All right. Matching your arrogance. The dish was a letdown. End of story. Wait, why is he back? <laughs> your dish was so bad, we decided to keep you around after you stood your ground. Or is this just a guy that looks like him? I don't know, that's just like a super hipster look. Maybe this is a totally different guy. The fennel is, it just looks wonderful. I love that you roasted it. The puff pastry, Thanks to the prime the lot and thief. Contrast against the creaminess of the lobster mashed potatoes. All of it works beautifully. Thank you, chef. Well done. Thank you so much. Hey, Christian. <laughs> why don't you have the same respect for these people that they do for you? The Man, the bald Mizkiv over here is like really targeting Christian. And show these people the same respect they show you. Because if not, I'm going to personally come over there and throw you out of here. You show no respect, and I'm not going to deal with No, you're not. You're not going to do that. You're going to go over there with five security guards and still be afraid of Christian. Dude's like five inches taller than you, and significantly wider. Hey, Charlie, click this link. You can't click the link, but thank you, Train. Oh, I see what you've done. Thank you. And I don't like Night Fight. It's a Pennsylvania Dutch play. It's pork and sauerkraut. What the hell were you thinking? It's what I grew up with, so... so you grew up wrong. Grew up with, then this should be mind-blowing. You don't look like you've achieved much. <laughs> all together, you have, it's all to, it's what meant to go together. Ah, yes. Disgusting. I can see from your dish that you amount to nothing and you suck dick behind the dumpster at a blockbuster, yes. Yes. Oh, yes. Very raw dick. Disgusting. You know Please leave. That at least one of you is leaving Master Chef tonight. Understood. I just look at that. And it looks like a pig on my bowl. Why is Christian still here? Is he too much of a man to get thrown out? Like no one here is tough enough to make him leave? Now I'm gonna stop there. Sorry. That's a joke. Ah, oh, the bald tough guy coming in. Fucking head explodes. This is a great example of what garbage is. If you're gonna serve us crap like that, then you're really wasting our time. And you guys think about what we're here to do at this point in the competition. Jennifer, that is really disappointing. You were on a great trajectory, and I don't know where that leaves you, quite frankly. I mean, let's show a little mercy. That was her mother's home recipe, passed down from generation to generation. You didn't have to insult her whole lineage throw it away and then tell her she amounted to nothing. You could have just said, well, it's not a dish I would have grown up with. Probably not, Rick. I think I've seen most of them. The basket. You're not wrong, what Finn. The is that? A basket. I think it looks cool. I'm looking at that, and I'm looking at the MasterChef trophy, I'm thinking... Nah. That's kind of cool. I can't be the only one that thinks that's kind of cool. It's like a little Christmas ornament, but you edible. understand the spirit of this competition? What we're looking for here? Scallop basket. 
go in the garbage basket. Okay. Fuck originality. We're not fooling around. Just buy me McDonald's and I'll say yes. Good work. And you're not here to waste our time. You understand? Yes. Here's five dollars for nothing more than simply saying thanks. Keep up the amazing work smile. You're always so wholesome, Bull. Thank you. Tally. Tally. Thanks for the reset balls in your face. You should watch obsessive compulsive cleaners. We've watched a few. Jeez, looks like a horror movie. What? Can you see that? Where's the crab? Where's the whole, all the, all the... I put it the in the... The crab meat in the middle. I put it in the... Have, have the judges never seen crab? What, is that... And you took the back end meat... Are these like three aliens trying to pretend like they know human food right now? I mean, that looks pretty normal from what I've seen. Especially with the rice in the middle, what am I supposed to do? You know, am I supposed to pull it out and eat this as I like scoop in and... I mean, hopefully... Yeah, it's, it's called eating, which you clearly know a lot about. Yes, you, you eat it. You're not wrong, you were on the right track there. What? Is this fake confusion or something? What? Um, no. I give Tali a beautiful- I don't get this at all, what the fuck? And he totally screws it up. What is that? If Tali goes home, I'm on my own. Based on that performance, I'll start packing my knife as I was you. Hey, Charlie, check out this dumb fight funny hotel lobby fight. Drunk guy fights Five. for his life type Five. of fights you like. Well, as long as it's not actually life or death. One. Thanks to Prime Tristan. And All right, step off my here is five dollars turf. Thanks, train. Wow. You got a straw in your back pocket? I am so bummed out right now. I'm not a scientist in Yeah, it doesn't look very good. That's like a little septic to tank. Check out Christmas turkey cake by really cooking well with hoarders. I'm just hoping at this point that it check it out. You usually can't watch cooking with hoarders, though. I roasted the potatoes in the pizza stone. I did the bacon in the pizza stone, and I did the uh, lobster on the pizza stone as well. This what is a pizza stone? Really bad. Is that like one of the gifts that they gave to they Jesus Christ when he was born? I've never heard of the like pizza stone. Long piece of bacon that looked like it just fell in it from someone's breakfast plate. Yeah, it's a mess. Come on, Dave. I'm supposed to eat this? Really? <laughs> You know, watching you cook this was <laughs> just a letdown. This guy's such a douchebag. Hey, punk bitch. And this is what you bring? Heard your mom died. What, is this her ashes in this bowl? Get out of here. Get the fuck out of here. Life, Trash this? can. This is Just got real. This is not good. Thanks to the fat tier one dizzy loaf. Holy f I am going home today. Tali. Stay there for a minute. Hey, Tali. Thanks to the prime Just cheeky dick back. waffle. Look at the mess. Yeah, that was probably the bald man came over there oh, fucking flipping six. pans over there in a fit of rage to look cool. Place. Look at the cupboards. I don't. I Let don't. me tell you one more thing. Okay. If you were in any of our kitchens, yes, sir. you'd have been fired six months ago. Yes, sir. <sighs> These three judges are that why y'all don't let disaster. the aliens out of Area 51 SMH. Yeah, I'm really confused by this. Arctic char over some of these, d d d some of the dishes have looked pretty good. But the bald man kind of fucking pees his diapers immediately. The name of the show is Master Chef. Okay. What do chefs do? Cook. cook. Right. So it's not Master Orator or Master Tell Me About What My Intention Is About Cooking. What? It's master Chef. <laughs> I think you're gonna you asked him what he made. Like sous -vide, emulsify. This dude sucks. Man, this guy must have been bullied his whole life and now he's got an ounce of power so, so he's using the that the day, to the best of his ability. It's basically 
destroyed lentils, because I can see they're all exploded and overcooked. You have a bunch of herb scraps with no dressing on them. You got a piece of fatty, nasty looking bacon on top of some poorly conceived cooked Arctic char. You've consistently disappointed us. And how good is it, huh? Explosion of flame. Okay. Thanks to the resub, Nagito. Sous vide is to lock in as flavor. You're not wrong, Scrap. And I watch you cook, and I just get so pissed off with you around. Maybe awkward. Misinterpreting the competition. It's master chef, not master bait. Ooh. Flavor. He's been waiting ten seasons for that. It's just a mess. I think the judges struggled with understanding my flavors. Maybe they're just a little too old school. They well, the bald guy, the the he, he's not a chef. Food. So I'll give you that one. That bald man doesn't even know what fucking food is. He had to ask how to eat it once. Did you disappear into the library for half an hour? No, I did not. What is it, please? I made a citrus salad with a champion vinegar. Now that looks horrible. That looks atrocious. I could make that. Oh, cold spinach? Bang. Cheese? Bang. Tomato. Game. Thanks for the resub slot. And you expect me to get blown away? Well, I am blown away. I'm shocked. In fact, I'm not even gonna eat it. Ooh, take that. My last donation, and I can't sub or be a patron anymore. That's totally fine, Ali. And I will watch the stream when I can so remember me, Plaza. Love you. Godspeed, Ali. I hope you have a great college experience, man. If you're up to me, I throw you out. I put my ass on the line for you, and that's the you give me? I screwed up. I've made two mistakes in a row. There's a big chance I'm not gonna make it through this. Stop, Sasha. Please bring us perfection. Voila. First of all, it looks like someone's pooped on the plate. Mm. Who that? takes a shit that looks like that? On top of what the fuck are you talking about, Ramsey? Are you shitting pure mucus? Starting to think that the bald guy's signature type wrestling move is to oh, just are, dunk are. a plate of food into a trash <laughs> can and some dignity. <laughs> that would be a signature move. The combination is just all wrong. I give you fifty dollars worth of langoustine, and you give me this. What's it worth now? With the grits, I'll say fifty-five. I think it looks kind of good. Oh, oh, oh! oh. Never gifted me a sub earlier today. Thanks. Love the streams, moist. Really Appreciate it, Sekerson. Really Thanks for the resub, Solb. One dish stood out. Thanks for the resub, good joke. One home cook plated raw fish. It's not raw fish, I was like, just It's maxed volume, man. I can't do anything about it. I can try this, but that probably won't make much of a difference. Howard, bring that dish up. Even without tasting it. Thanks to the Prime Turtle. You know, I mean, Shep. It's raw. Good luck we'll up on your next relationship, Mateo. They let me pick. Did I ever tell you that? Choose whichever Spartan I wanted. You know me. I did my research, kind of watched as you became is that. What pisses us off. And these kind of dishes are what... His signature move? Ooh! That's what the fans love to see. From Saitama, One Punch Man. Walking up, I'm not 100% confident in the dish that I'm bringing up. Plating isn't that great, but hopefully the flavors come together. So what is exactly this stuff? Uh, Who is that? Jalapeno, is that the bald guy's mom? Spice with a little cumin. Yeah, cumin is a spice that is not used a lot in pasta making or stuffing. Thanks to the tier one koala in the resub code. Yeah. And that was but also very cute, faded. Full of peppers. Okay. It's not harmonious with a pasta dish like this. 
classics work and they're appreciated nope, time it's not his mom time. otherwise they wouldn't Probably be his wife classics. get a good connection to the basics don't just fly off on a wing okay i i, I don't understand oh it is his mom nice to you but the whole thing with you the fact that you're not even thinking Whatever, Professor Xavier. Can you take a bite first before you come up with this critique? I know you've been monologuing for the last 10 minutes for this, but at least eat it first and then give a critique. While the rest of this group goes on and competes to become the next master chef. So, are you ready to take a bite yet? Because it might be good. The only thing worse than a cook who can't boil is a narcissist. His whole fucking eyes glaze over because it was so great. Okay, be me. Yes, chef. Oh, beamy. Wow. Evil bald man. Yeah, this What's fucking bald guy Wait, sucks we'll ass. Lime. Lime. Yeah. Oh dear. They probably just reused the plates. Beam, what have you done here? Huh? Yeah, it looks kind of gross. It's like a pop wow. zit. Yeah, I don't like that. Now, now, bald small dick man. This is a dish to kind of be upset about because that's yucky. That's really yucky. I'm the trash man. I come out and start throwing trash all over the ring. Ah, egg yolk smoothie. Start eating garbage. Bald trashinator guy. Hey. Thanks, Android. What is that in there? Thanks for the What's resub the meme. Bits? Cream of tartar. <laughs> the prime lolol and ploopy. I messed up. I grabbed the wrong thing and I just started throwing Finals it in Finals have been kicking kick my ass. ass. Thanks for the last the chance. Like Godspeed, Volties. How many tablespoons? Like, almost like ten. I was ten because my time was running out then. Time running out? Yeah, something's running through my mouth. I messed up, man. It was a mistake. It was something stupid. Pretty I sure I just failed four man. out of the five classes I have in college. Nice. Your stream is keeping my happiness up, even though I should be studying. One out of five ain't bad. Catfish eats mud and algae. So what does it taste like? Mud. Your catfish tastes like mud. And. My issue with you and our interchange before... So it sounds like you just don't like catfish. Why are you judging a catfish dish? ...yourself at home. Because this defensive act... No, shut up. Excuse me a second. At this point, you're wasting my time. And I don't like to have my time wasted. Oh, as if your time is so valuable. You look like you have a hard gluten intolerance. Go back to Whole Foods, Joe. Let me know who's really here to play. Or Jeff. I don't know your name. Fucking one bite man. is delicious. It didn't matter what's gonna help you. I said I knew it. <laughs> if you want to talk behind my back, have the balls to say it up here in front of me. Joe isn't even a chef. He just owns a bunch of restaurants that no well, one cares about. Go. I could see that, yeah. That sounds about right. Are you serious? What is it? Over it? What is it? That's my question. It's a baked meringue. Mass-raised strawberries on top and a banana puree. Yeah, it looks kind of bad. It's like a strawberry it's cookie. I'll give you that, Joe. You know this is elimination, right? What's the gray bits? It's a banana puree. Ew. It looks like you slipped in cow and baked it. No, it doesn't. It doesn't look like cow shit, Gordon. You are so obsessed with everything looking like shit. Wall insulator with some that looks more like a, a wound that is in the process of healing. Rancid. Right now, you are close to getting kicked out of this competition because that is the worst dish I have seen. Joe, for the next the official podcast. <laughs> yeah, Joe's welcome to come on and defend his bad taste and micro penis. Wow. Uh, Lynn. Unbelievable. They raise you up so high and then. Oh, Joe, that was so deep. Oh, oh, Joe. Maybe. Yes, his big move. No. Might be a memento for you to take home. 
Actually, that's kind of rare. One of the few plates Joe doesn't smash to make himself feel strong. God damn. Imagine being this guy's son or daughter and he tries to make you cook for him. Just full in Cody's the plate over your head, lol. Nobody cooks for Joe. Does she cook like that at home? Thanks for the resub set in the Prime Johnny. This is disgusting. This is Don't mess with Professor X. Do you know how second. much power he's exerting to pretend to walk? Disgusting working conditions. This is a kitchen. We have sanitary standards. This is dangerous. You're gonna fall. It's a good point. You're gonna hurt yourself. You're gonna hurt me. Loser is yeah, trying to be Gordon so badly. Funny how clever he thinks he is. To be fair, if you're one of the judges with Gordon Ramsay, there's a certain expectation you have to meet. And Joe's trying very hard. For the worst dish. He just sucks ass at it. And two of you are in contention for the best dish. The Thanks for the resub raid. Belong to Cutter and Is that Chris Jericho? And then decide which one will be going home. No. Cutter, Close. Your head. I ain't gonna lie, Chef. It's the first time I've ever tried something like this, man. I thought I did damn good on it. Step up. Show me what you got. I did a play on a cappuccino with a coffee pudding. That looks good. With some caramel and cinnamon on top. Do you know what hurts me? What happened? Did I he mix like in dirt in there? You stuck a MasterChef logo. I was trying to honor the show, sir. Yeah, it's cute. Serious? Yeah, yeah, it's cute. What? So you got the pastry cream there? Whipped cream. Whipped cream on top. Underneath that, you've got what? And then I've got caramel and cinnamon. Come on. Honestly? What? <laughs> What's wrong? Anyone? It doesn't look like a dessert. What? 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 That doesn't look like a dessert. Yeah. Where do you eat it? Fucking Willy Wonka's chocolate factory? What are you talking about? Do you know what biscotti stands for? No idea, sir. Bis means twice. Cotti means cooked. Thank you for the history lesson. Can you try it first and then be a douchebag? would cut these and then individually bake the standards. We're here to distinguish who has a future in this kitchen and who doesn't. That looks great. Thanks, Cutter. My girlfriend dumped me, so here is some of what was going towards her Christmas gift. I'm sorry to hear that, Set. Astrid, let's go, please. That's rough, man. You'll find someone better. Lemon tart. I just don't like night lavender. fights, Brawly. That's raw, right? I imagine so. You imagine so. Not Thanks to the prime, that kid. <clears throat> you don't serve it. Leave it in the oven. I'm struggling. Thanks to the prime, Nutella. Where we can go with you, because I don't think there's much potential. Just keep Joe away. Never Joe's gonna lose his fucking mind on this one. Wow, this guy lost a lot of weight. This tiny little corner looks cooked. So. How the fuck? Holy shit, congratulations, man. He must have eaten one at one of Joe's restaurants where there's nothing good to eat there, so he just went fucking anorexic. But to win the competition, uh, sweet potato mash and green beans. Again, that looks fine. It must really taste like shit. What's the secret ingredient? Chloroform? That's all I really get. It could be like a weird meat dessert creation somehow. At least this guy's critiques are constructive. Like that's helpful. He throws your food away halfway through the meal and then kicks you out in a rage. I Sounds about right. To go in. Thanks for the tier one, Ryan. Lemongrass and mango, with a sauce. The meat is dry. It's way overcooked. It's actual black. constructive criticism Joe, for a chef. Now Joe's gonna fucking waddle over there, all big man, and just fucking flip TV. the table over on her, and then whip out his cock and start coming. But unfortunately, you've taken a TV. You think this is Master Chef? No, it's Joe's show. My apologies. Okay. All right, bring out Joe. Let him off the leash. Come on, Joe. Stop. Dan Wu, please. Thank you. I think the plate looks beautiful. Thanks to the Prime There's Stealth Bot and Takashi. I'm actually pretty confident. So, describe that, please. It's round veal, pork, and short ribs, some carrots, onions, shiitakes, and then I've got a quick kimchi of Brussels sprouts, Swiss chard, and... That looks like ass. <laughs> I'd hate that. That 
is absolutely disgusting. Hey, Charlie, you should check out I'm Dating Four the Guys, and now I'm pregnant. We watched that last Not Just Chatting stream. Of raw Brussels sprouts. That is one of the worst meatloaves I've ever eaten. When Chef Ramsay says you Thanks to the prime blank. It's disgusting. It's the worst. Dan Wu and Cutter's plate is empty. Is this like a... How do they keep having the same contestants over and over again with shitty dishes? Do they just not vote anyone off, or do they constantly just bring them back for Joe to make fun of them? 